Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special Reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I had a guest on in the past, and I liked him so much I had to bring him right on back. Uh, so today's special return guest is Brad Barbera, and he is the founder and chief enabler of strategic innovation over at Pi Innovation. Brad, welcome back to the show. Adam, thank you so much, and uh, I'm honored to be somebody that you liked enough to have as a return guest. Oh, yes, um, and I'm excited about today's topic, so we're going to get into some of these digital courses that you're launching, but um, before we do that, I don't want to assume that all of our new listeners caught your caught your first um, episode, so let's just start off with what you're doing over at Pi Innovation. First, tell us a little bit more about the business, please. Absolutely. Well, what I try to do is I try to help uh, nonprofits, startups, and small to mid-sized enterprises uh, get these sort of uh, consulting that uh, they're their bigger competitors are able to afford, but uh, maybe they don't have the the deepest pocket that uh, can, can afford, uh, you know, going to McKinsey and uh, BCG. You know, basically trying to help them with uh, developing their strategies, developing their uh, innovation capabilities, uh, and I absolutely see innovation and strategy being uh, completely aligned and uh, almost inseparable. Uh, and then, you know, helping them execute, measure progress, and uh, make changes and adjustments along the way. It is, uh, it is kind of a, a crazy world that is uh, changing constantly. So uh, not all about just uh, forming a plan and doing it. It's uh, about you know, maintaining constant vigilance. All right. Let's, um, let's get into these digital courses you're launching. I'm excited. T- tell me more. So what I uh, was trying to think of is, you know, I, I'm one guy, and I can uh, go to uh, individual companies and help them out. I was really trying to figure out how can I, you know, expand my reach? How can I uh, you know, help out more people? And you know, the obvious answer, especially in uh, this digital age, is, you know, looking at online courses, online uh, interactive capabilities that uh, I, I can walk, you know, as many people as are interested, uh, through the processes of you know, how do you form a mission, how do you uh, create a strategy to try to achieve that mission, how do you organize your business around that uh, mission and the strategy, and then how do you execute and, and adjust, as I was saying before. So uh, I'm creating these courses, uh, and they'll be targeted specifically at uh, either nonprofits, startups, or the small to mid-sized enterprises. And uh, it, just being the, the sort of things that uh, not only are they uh, educational, uh, but I'm really hoping that they're going to be uh, entertaining. I find that uh, your creativity is stimulated by having fun. Uh, your ability to learn is stimulated by having fun. Uh, you know, I was a chemical engineer back in the day, and I wish I could remember uh, a quarter of the chemical engineering stuff that I learned, as well as I remember obscure movie lines from the like, funny uh, comedies <laughs> of the 80s. You know, it's just uh, those things stick in your head. So that's what I'm going to try to do uh, with these courses. And, uh, it makes them different than just having somebody uh, you know, talking to you on a screen and uh, throwing up a couple of quizzes here and there. And so um, what kind of, because there's a lot of nonprofits listening, a lot of business owners, executive startups, um, what kind of modules or what kind of, what kind of uh, lessons do you plan on teaching this, just to give them a little bit more of the meat? So you uh, clearly start with uh, mission, vision, and purpose. And uh, mm-hmm. how do you create one that is not only something that uh, you feel like it is important, but the entire organization is able to rally around and even especially if you're looking at something like a small startup, you can, you not only have to rally the people who are working on your startup, you've got to rally uh, people who want to invest in it. You've got to rally the community around you that uh, you're trying to support. Uh, so you need that purpose. You need that mission. You need something that is more than just, uh, oh, yeah, you know, I kind of want to start a business and I want to kind of make some money. Um, that, mm-hmm. just, that doesn't motivate people to get up on a Monday morning. Uh, so that's where it, it all starts, and that's true whether you're a nonprofit, a startup, or a small, mid-sized enterprise. Uh, you know, so I, I talk about I like to serve purpose-driven organizations. 
Um, and then from there, it's about creating a framework that uh, connects your mission down to the daily activities that you're doing and, and each individual that the organization is doing. Um, how does everything support that mission and people see how they interact and see how uh, what they're doing fits into what the organization is trying to achieve. Um, and then it's a matter of uh, measuring how you're making progress and learning from what you're doing and, and how it's making an impact uh, and making adjustments along the way so that you're you're always trying to achieve more and you're always trying to uh, you make sure you're doing the things that are going to make the greatest impact. Uh, I had uh, one client that uh, I, I came and I started talking about their uh, strategy and, and her response was, uh, well, we're only in the second year of our five-year strategy plan, so we don't really <laughs> have to talk about strategy right now. And, and I was just dumbfounded because you know that, that's like <laughs> this world is changing way too fast to have a five-year plan and not even revisit it uh, along the way. So uh, that's the kind of thing that I try to uh, help uh, organizations that I work directly with, and it's the try to thing I'm going to try to uh, translate into these uh, courses. So tell me, it's um, and so what's the expected length of the course? Like, how long is it going to take a company to go through these courses? Well, I'm going to, uh, at least initially, try to start with these being uh, very short modules. So uh, in the 10 to 15 minute range, things that people can easily digest. And in each one of them, I want to try to provide some sort of context that, and something that they can take away immediately, uh, whether it's a tool or a concept that you know, they can say, all right, I can use this on my job uh, today. Uh, but it's not so long, you know, it's not a 20-hour uh, a uh, commitment uh, that they would have to go through in order to get something that is usable. So they're going to be, you know, bite-sized pieces, but then uh, each one of them will, will interact with the others so you can kind of see how it all fits together. And so if somebody's listening to this, Brad, and they want more information or to follow up for the courses, um, what's the best way for them to reach out? Well, I would love if people would reach out because uh, these courses are in development, and I want to make sure I am co-developing them. I want, want the audience to be able to say, you know, hey, can you talk about this, or I didn't like how you did that. Uh, so please, by all means, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'll give you my email is uh, pi, P-I, like the Greek letter, uh, at the number three, the word point, the number one, the number four, and then innovation.com. So, you know, I got uh, cute around pi being 3.14, and I used the, the numbers and, uh, and the words there. Uh, but that's my email. Uh, they can also go to either my uh, company address, which is uh, 3.14innovation.com, or uh, go directly to my uh, personal uh, uh, website, which is bradbarbera.com. And the last Man, one is awesome. B A R B E R A. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, hey, Brad, it's been great having you back on this uh, Reunion 2020 episode. Can't wait to have you back in 2021. We'll hear how the courses went, how many people you helped, all that good stuff. I'm excited to see you uh, extend your reach and mission of helping people out there in businesses and nonprofits. Um, and to the audience, as always, uh, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, leave me a review. Um, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, uh, then definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave some comments on the video. Love to hear what you saw and, uh, and uh, what, what kind of businesses and what you're working on. Um, and Brad, thanks again for coming back on the show.